walking in your perfect with my Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blogs and the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and sell it all. Start with opinion banger a new exclusive video definitely even for I'm right here with the legend himself. Listen, guys, I don't know how to express this. Ike Ibiabuchi is someone that I've looked up to since I was a child. I remember watching him uh, fight and um, copying his style and, you know, the things he does, the things he did for Nigerian boxing is not appreciated enough. You know, we, I always, it's a dream. I have to say big ups to each and every one of you that uh told me that he's been released that he's back in Nigeria now that he's back to boxing i'm like i didn't know because the last time i did a video about him was a long time ago in which i compared him to i compared ajagba to him in terms of ajagba is he the next the uh, the next president basically the next ikebi abuchi because he threw i think he threw over 900 punches then on a, in a fight against was not against good hall or, or guy like that and i was impressed i'm like oh um so uh, people are people are watching right now people can see you um i want to say you are amazing uh thank you for what you did for nigerian boxing i know you don't get your flowers i know a lot a lot of nigerian uh a uh, lot of nigerian uh fans a lot of nigerian a lot of just don't know you they don't appreciate you the way they should and if you walk in the street now of uh, abuja only few people can recognize you because like your name weren't ringing the rigging bells in Nigeria, but for us that understand that we're into boxing, deep into boxing, watched your fight. The David Tua fight was an outstanding fight. You threw over a thousand punches, like you never gassed out. You, sir, how are you doing? First of all, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing great here in Abuja and. Uh... I am training and um, I'm high spirited and uh, I'm waiting to get back in the boxing again because um, it's been uh, speculated that uh, I'm retired. I was saying that you know the the rumors are that I'm uh, that I were retired, but I'm not. It's not true. I'm not retired. I, I intend to get back in the mix. In the mix, I am. I'm interested in boxing again. I'm interested in. Uh, Becoming the heavyweight champion of the world before retirement, and uh, I train as such. So yes, I'm generally doing good in Abuja, and uh, like I said, the spirits in high. I am I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get back to the Okay, sir. When did you arrive in Nigeria? Oh, I, I arrived in August of 2021. Wow, and I didn't know about this. Wow, yes. like, like, like yes. you know, I've been, I've been, I just literally thought that, um, I just thought you were gonna stay in the U.S. or you remain in the U.S. or something, something will happen. I just don't know. I, I didn't even, I, I never imagined you even have interest in boxing anymore. You still, you still box. Did, were you training in the in, right. where you were there? Yes, I was, uh, well, not just as I'm training now. I was training in the U.S., but not as much. The thing is that uh, even though I'm still in custody, even though it's still on immigration issues, I'm, I'm willing to work with the government in releasing me to boxing, at least. That that can be allowed. So um, I'm training in hopes of getting back to the, um, to the ring, you know, you know what I mean? So um, I'm... You know, I'm I'm going back to the I'm returning to the United States soon. As soon as I have a fight scheduled for me, I will be back in the US. So, are you? Do you just want to be back to the US, or do you see an opportunity to fight in Saudi Arabia or in the UK? Because um, there is a new sheriff in town. Uh, His Excellency Turkey Lashik, who has been putting on great everyday fights. I know that your age. <laughs> might turn some people off might say yeah he's old now does this does he still have it and stuff like that or does, is he just doing it for fun like i want to ask you this question do you still have the hunger for boxing or are you doing like by the way you look you look the same like 
like 20 years ago. Why are you not aging, sir? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, I know there's a new sheriff in town. Um, I've made contact, I've, 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 I've sent words to um, His Excellency Toki Alashik uh, that I'm interested in boxing, you know, as an undefeated fighter. You know, you've got to either defeat me to, um, to retirement. Uh, but if you hadn't been defeated, uh, it's only a bargain there is, you know, for one to be defeated before he can retire. I, they haven't given me the opportunity to show whether or not I can fight as I used to. But uh, to me, I believe in myself. I believe that I can be a world champion. And that's so much I can say about that. You know, I'm not a promoter. So, and since uh, there is a new sheriff in town, he ought to, you know, regulate the fight. He, he, he ought to, you know, put me there to, to show my, uh, myself and prove my capacity. I don't know what he's waiting. If you go back to my uh, channel at YouTube, you can see how many calls. If they, even my address is in uh, Facebook and uh, X, you can see that I have attempted to reach out to, including many of my friends and fans, they have already, you know, they have submitted a request that, you know, that I need to fight. Even the most recent request in the ex um, Twitter, former Twitter, is that I should uh, fight in Ghana. But it, it's like it falls, it falls on uh, 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 deaf ears, and uh, there's no, uh, there's no response. You know, we've been calling out in, on Facebook, we've been calling out on X or Twitter and YouTube. There's no other way to reach out to uh, uh, Mr. Al Sheikh, and uh, it's so outrageous that none of the promoters, even in the United States or in the UK, had been uh, responsive neither. So if you can see now that uh, uh, it's just as you asked, am I? Do I still have the hunger in me? Of course I do, and uh, the only way to prove that further is if I had. Well, I know someone that that can that can make it happen. But at least that can help you. They can help. I, I know somebody, and somebody is the trainer of the current, um, uh, the current uh every contender in town, Matty Bacoli. Um. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah know, even Matty. He, he helped me. He, uh, he helped me. Uh, the, the the trainer helped me some years ago with a Nigerian. Uh, boxer that was having problem with his management and uh, the problem they will have is they probably say your age you know the last time you fought was in 1999 you know um i've, over... I've, I've discussed that with you hey boxing block listen to me sir hey, okay if you had somebody who can make that happen let that be a trial let that be a test we are not gonna put up a huge contract let that be a test let them put me up with any fight any fighter or fight there is and let's prove whether or not i still got it you know what i mean so yes, don't yes. worry about my age. yeah so don't worry about my age don't worry about you know uh <clears throat> the the doubts about whether i were the fighter that i were in 1999 okay well i'm i'm willing to you know wage that um the fairness is that you know i'm undefeated and someone would have said that he defeated i keep up president now let's use that as a come on. Let's wage that and uh, let's fight. You know, let them put up one person in the top 10, 15 in the world and let's fight. Let's, uh, just give me a day. So I recently saw, uh, I saw um, a video of you knocking out uh, a young star um, on your YouTube channel. I saw you knocking out, knocking out, inspiring. I'm just wondering, I, I, you are 51 now. And that power is still with you. Is it true that everyone are born to punch? And uh, they, they they born powerful and the the power never leaves them. Is, is it true? Um. Uh, well, uh, that's good of the heavyweights. It should be of general boxers. Every boxer is like a soldier, you know. Um. Uh, and all soldier never dies. Uh, uh, the thing is that I'm I'm mentally stronger than I were in the 90s and uh, the YouTube uh, 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 sparring you saw was just an exercise. I was not trying to, yeah, of course I was, you know, guarded uh, with 
such boxing equipment, I don't think that it is the same as fighting. So, and I hadn't been in that boxing training gym only for three times, three consecutive times. I cannot travel from where I am to the boxing, to the boxing uh, um, uh, uh, gym. It's, it's quite a long distance. And uh, but if there were a fight, things can be changed, and the, the fight revenue could change my training habits. I hadn't trained for boxing. All I'm doing is just uh, I'm I'm using the the centers uh, where I am located. Their gym, which is mainly um, uh, aerobic and uh, weight weight uh, training, and that's all you can see. I hadn't had a boxing gym um, to train as I should. So, um, if but if there were a fight, of course I'm gonna divert to um, boxing gym and train as I as I as I should, and have some sparring uh, sessions and footages that should warrant you know um a, a, a talk about my return there has not been uh, any of those so in in other words um no fault, no no reality test no one can know what i can actually do yeah it's very it's very interesting because yes like i said people will talk about your age in a way but i i believe that someone that loves boxing um somebody that that that, that would have been away for over i mean over 15 years and then for him to come back and still show this passion for boxing it means you were born to be a, a boxer like it's, it's something you were born into it was not made to you you, you it wasn't he's not a made thing because yes he did yeah you're he was, right it was because if a guy like marius wack marius wack who is old as hell and still and still getting fights against his youngsters getting knocked out everywhere can get a fight I think you guys undefeated and that defeated the first person to defeat David Tua to knock out Chris Bird. I think you deserve a shot at least a one, one of, uh, against one of these youngsters to really see how good they are. If they are that good, I would love to see that. I think uh, a guy like uh, David Itauma would be interesting. That was an interesting fight. David Itauma is a Thank new you. kid on the block. He's just knocked out uh, Marius Wack. Uh, effortlessly and uh, of course they say boxing is a, is a young man's game but i believe sometimes experience is very very key and i watched you pop i've been watching your tra your, you your your training uh, method on youtube you still you fight like you still have that old school fight like uh, that old school dog in you um i think uh -huh. a, lot of the, a lot of the new guys who have a hard time if they cannot hurt you is over for them because the only thing they can the only thing that can stop you right now is if they if if hold hage catch up to you but what i'm seeing so far you are like a tank and i think you can still run through so many walls if uh, if uh, if given the chance i'll be i'll be doing my 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 my, my own part in contacting the, the, the guy i told you about and sending him of course this interview because I think he's a very open-minded person, a nice person, and he will love. Like your name is like I'll, in everybody's lips, and it has to be. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I I I appreciate that. Any help I can get to to that contact is appreciated because you know, like I uh, said, like I told you, you know, it has been all training since three years now. I've been in Nigeria. If, if things were to the extent that I were um, to had a fight, I mean, I would have been exposed. I would have been shown for whether or not I'm real or not. So <coughs> the, 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 the dogma there is that uh, there has not been a fight, there has not been a contact made, established. And if there were one, I would so much gladly appreciate it. And uh, that would actually return me to boxing once again. And uh, like I said, before the night is over, I would have captured or sealed my career in a more colorful manner than just one who abruptly left the scene in 1999 without saying goodbye. So I, I, I really wanted to, you know, to do things that were hot in my heart. And uh, as you can see, I've been 
training and having some yeah, you know recordation of some and uh, they are all in my YouTube channel and uh, like I said if there were a fight there would be an, uh, a conclusion a conclusion as to who I keep up to were the president who actually he were I don't care about the time lost it's just that I still got some fight in me that can explain for them because many commentators would say uh, on their commentaries that um, they don't have uh, enough footage to a judge whether I belong in the in the all time list or not. But you know, if they were interested in that, they should speak up. They should call uh his excellency uh um Turkey Al Sikh so that they can um uh, have more footage of my fight and they can uh, judge whether or not I belong in the all time great, you know. So um I don't know how else to put it, you know, mainly on the fact that I am ready to fight anywhere in the world. By the grace of God, and I don't want to, you know, uh, to see food eat anymore. It, it's just there, and I'm ready to go. Let's have more footage and let the boxing uh, block, uh, say, boxing world, let them uh, judge for themselves who I, the president, is as to uh, boxing related and as to the all time grades. I don't want to be uh, omitted anymore. So why is it that each time I, I see some some clips on YouTube, some people label you a psychopath or say, yeah, the, that you got banned from boxing. Why are they uh, portraying you as uh, this sort of evil guy or something like that? Because you never was a evil guy. You wasn't, you went in the ring, you knocked at your opponent, fine. But why are they, why are they doing that, sir? Well, a psychopath could have been um, a, a word they chose. You know, everyone has a freedom of speech. But the thing is that it could also be liable um, to them in a suit if I were seriously uh, pursuing that uh, defamation. Um, a psychopath, I never were used as a psychopath in the outside of the, uh, um, I mean, in the ring, rather. Um, <clears throat> there is a, there is there is a, a definition for a lack of competence, which is incompetence. When you don't have the competence to stand trial, it doesn't mean that you're a psychopath. It's that you you weren't able to um, aid your attorney or legal representative in uh, defending your cause, your matter. That does not mean that it's a word everyone they chose. Whoever referred to me as a psychopath is their freedom of speech but it can be liable that i did not i wasn't a psychopath in the ring i was only termed incompetent to stand trial during my litigation and that does not mean that i was a psychopath because um i lack in jurisprudence it, it uh, does not mean that i'm a psychopath rather it was in my my inability to either comprehend the nature of the case which i was charged or to help or my, defending my case that's that's incompetence but but uh, even though that was addressed i was later found competent to stand trial i don't think any modern person who has seen my resume from 1999 to date would refer to me as a psychopath that's an old word that's it, it, that it has not been updated a very uh, classification the very um allusion or the attachment they had not been uh, re recently found i don't think anyone would refer to me as psychopath um, or psychopath or <laughs> psychopath whatever that word was so but i've let every past everything of the past to remain at the past because you know i'm moving on forward i'm i'm trying to get a title shot i'm trying to round up my career before the time before end is here so I, I, I don't want to relate to what were used against me, you know, in, in, in during the times I were facing trials or during the times that um, I had trouble with the law. So all those things were reversed. You know, I had uh, I won my appeal in the state of Nevada and also state of uh, Arizona, and uh, my status in the United States is legal, and. Um, I don't have any need to refer to, you know, blackmailing and all, you know, 
letters and lab, uh, li uh, libels. I don't I don't have anything like that. I, all all I care about is I want to get back to the ring. I want to secure my own spot in boxing history. You understand yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Yes, sir. You are very right. You are very right. I mean, uh, but let let Bago be Bago, and I think. Um, if you are a fighter and a boxer, I don't think people understand what it takes to step in the ring and get punched in the face. Like I don't think people, some people understand that. Only if you can understand that, because it's not, it's not something like you don't go there with the intention of just uh, taking it easy to, or, on your on your on your opponent or like playing around and then losing and stuff like that. You go in there with the intention of getting a win by any means necessary. That's part. And you did well you're undefeated and uh, you are saying right now they should come and take it if they want if they can if you look at the current everywhere scene right now like who would you say would give you uh, a harder fight Yuri Usyk, Joshua, Efia Jagba, Marty Bacoli, Zhang Jilei, Joseph Parker, David, uh, uh, David Tauma, Moses Tauma and uh um, no, there are very many Adit Tabayer, uh, uh Mahmoudov, um Dillian White. There are too many right now. Uh, is it Jerry Anderson, the new guy that uh particularly knocked out? Who would who would give you a, a harder a harder fight? That's 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 a wonderful question there. You know, in way they said any any anything can happen. Uh, but you know, I have I've watched them. <clears throat> They're very good as they were young <clears throat> or younger people. Uh, but you know, like I say, you know them well that I am a uh, um, uh, an old school fighter, and uh, of course, I've come here, uh, when I want to fight. I'm I'm, all, I'm I come there to show skills, you know, to maintain more of my mental ability to overcome their prowess, you know. So. Um, Guys, you mentioned they are ter they are, they, are, they are terrific. They are they are they are, they are good boxers. Uh, any one of them could give me a good fight, especially if they were ranked in <clears throat> top ten in the world or top twenty in the world. You know what I mean? They they are good fighters. I'd love any one of them at any time, any given night. You know what I mean? I want I want any one of them that could uh, step in the ring rather with me. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be and, that, that would be interesting. Yes, yes, I, uh, I would, I would love any one of them to be in the ring, same ring with me. That would be interesting. That would be interesting, and I, I can't, I can't wait, uh, to see what happens. Um, so guys, we are right here with, um, the president, Steve here, and I have to invite yes, my cool. brothers, Kenechuku and Adewale. Uh, to join uh, the interview because they are huge fans of the president, Aikibi Abuji. So, um, Kenjuku, what question do you have to ask him? And you know, we heard the story that he retired and stuff like that. He's just told me that he didn't, he never retired, that he's still in the game, that he wants to fight, and he's been looking for a fight. Um, I met, I asked him a few questions like, who do, does he think would give him a hard time in, in the current every, every scene? He say, he says that uh, he would uh, they will have to you know try take his hole you know they have to try so he doesn't really care who he fights he's ready uh, to fight anyone it's it's very interesting though because if you if you look at our brother uh, uh, the president you, you know so for someone that I've been through a lot you would expect him to give up boxing but he's passionate about boxing he still has the hunger that tells you that. If so, if he if if he gets back to the ring, when he does get back to the ring, any fighter that any boxer that fights him right now is in trouble. And when you, I saw that sparring, I know you cannot take a, a lot from sparring, but for a man of his age to knock out a young guy, it reminds me of Judge Foreman the way he did it. I'm I wanna I don't like you, man. I'm just I'm just happy, man. Like I'm so I'm like I'm excited to have him here. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Um, I'm excited to talk to our legend, Oga Ike. Um, I mean, I've been watching him since the, I think the last fight I remember was um, David Tua, but I've been listening to him. I mean, I listened to one of the interviews he did 
I think last year when he was trying to come back to the US. I'm so happy. You can see I've just been smiling since, you know, it's it's we're well, in the presence of a legend. So I don't know. Uh what I wanted to ask him, well, what is his way back? Is there still a way back to make it to the States, sir? Or are you going to try and fight one of these young um Africans that are ranked in like the WBO? Like there's an African called Kevin Larena, he's in South Africa now. I think he'll be the perfect opponent for you. If you can knock knock him out or even go like a good give him a good fight you can be back in the rankings so th that's what i wanted to ask I, what 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 is what is next for you sir well we are actually i like i said i've been training for three years since i've been in nigeria abuja uh um, abuja nigeria the thing is that we can get a fight whoever it is even in south africa the wbo he said is an interim wbo intercontinental uh, or what the, the, the fact is that any heavyweight that is ranked in the top 10 is as good as we want them so uh but there had not been a promoter score there had not been a um you know the change in boxing in rehab no one has contacted us we have made um quite a boss about coming back to boxing but it's it's, it's like in a deaf ear it lands and no one has contacted me nor anyone that i knew to organized um, a fight for me on my return so i'm just training without a schedule and i hope that that will end soon you know what i mean <laughs> i can see your face now sir it's not getting i i'm 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 waiting to fight anybody anybody at all okay thank you for that um adewale i'll give the mic to you now yeah yeah thank you so much thank you uh, mr ike it's it's a honor to have the opportunity to speak to you and to have this boxing conversation and you know it's 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 interesting to know that you're still interested in pushing forward and we that we've been your fans for the longest time we would like to ask questions like do you have any particular heavyweight in mind or a route a path to getting a fight next you're you're welcome um i i thank you for your support very much and uh, like i said you know um any particular heavyweight would be one that is ranked in the top 10 or top 15. top 15 heavyweight is um a a, a likable heavyweight because i'm making a return at least one that would uh, would willing who would be willing to give a 10 round fight and um with my undefeated record you know whether this heavyweight is uh, is a he's ranked and uh, and notwithstanding he's, uh, you know um some someone who can draw the crowd's attention so yeah any heavyweight of the top 10 top, top 15 is is marketable and uh and loving i'd i'd love to have any any words that um at all that uh, would impress the, the uh, um, his excellency or any promoter's interest so or as you have it if if you have any names why don't you shoot it so that we can uh, accept it because there's not no other way to go about it but to fight because i'm ready to fight yeah. and i've been ready to fight you know since i was released in 2020 so so yeah. to ask a follow-up oh. question to that um the the promoters are, are they yes. easily accessible from the, your location in abuja how easy is it to connect to people you know because i know things happen in accra for example in ghana they, they have a little bit of a bigger boxing scene in ghana and maybe um, establishing some sort of networking can be beneficial. So, but is it difficult to connect to promoters and people that push for boxing events in Abuja? Um, I, I don't know anyone from here and the Nigerian Immigration Services, but if there were a contact, um, I believe that I should be contacted because, and, you know, we deal with the media now. In the media, we publicize uh, the fact that um, I'm ready, wanted to fight. You know, the interest should be mine and not anyone else. Uh, and, I, and I've been, uh, you know, actually 
um, in the position to be asked if I wanted to fight again. And I've always answered yes, because you know, I wanted to be a world champion before I retired. But no one, like I said, with all the poses we made on the media, no one has contacted me or anyone else back to, to clarify if I've actually I, I really wanted to fight. No one is. I've made so much interviews, no one has returned that interview. So it, it does quite um, a discordance. And uh, I don't know what to say about it, but I'm training, I'm in good spirit, I'm not broken, I'm, I'm training, and I'm hoping that, you know, um, soon there will be a fight call. So I have a question to ask you. Um, so is SNC Tokyo Lashik is trying to make uh, Jan Jilei versus Mati Bakole in Africa or China? What do you think about that? Well, uh, Martin Bakole mm. and uh, Jan Jilei, the Chinese guy that knocked oh, that yeah, water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I see that. I see that. Um, I was surprised. I thought I thought I would have gotten Martin Bakole first before Big Zhang, or I would have gotten Big Zhang first before Martin Bakole. <laughs> But it's like I'm excluded again. You know, um, they both uh, performed well on their last fight. Zen um, knocked out um, Dante Wider and uh, Bacola knocked out uh, Gerard uh, Anderson. I, I, I swear, you know, I thought I would have been their next opponent. To, so that's how, I mean, it's totally and highly... So, so, so you, are, have, you have Twitter, right? You have X. Twitter, right? Yes, I have X. Yes, I have uh, X account. I, I, we need you need to share it share it with us so i can um you know try we can like you know mention yeah, I, I mention, to, mention, I, uh, mention to Kelashik, you know tweet at him like he, he responds most times because i i can try to get to uh, to him to, uh, via the trainer of Marty Bacoli, but i don't know how the guy has but he's very accessible what do you need to what do you need in my Twitter account? Is it the address? You want me no, to... No. Um, we need uh, to know what, what, which, the, what the name. We need to let, let us know what, what uh, the name of it so we can... The official one, because there are some ones that are fake. So we can at least... What? Me mention, mention it to Tokila Sheik, you know? You know, like, tell him to check you out and stuff like that, you know? Because I think Tokila Sheik is... He, I think he, he might know you because he's a huge fan of boxing. Okay. You know? I think he might know you. And... Oh, really? I... I have been trying to get hold of him. I'm not in contact with him. But if you want my Twitter account, I can give you my Twitter account so that you can uh, uh, make that uh, contact, please. Because uh, I've done everything. Maybe, as you said, some accounts are, um, are fraud or fake. I don't know if my just, account... Just send, just send me a, a Twitter account. Send us a Twitter account. Um, <laughs> you write it to me and then we, we will search for it. And I can... Uh, when, I, when, I, when I message... Uh, Martin Bacolis, uh, Martin Bacolis trainer. I would uh, put the link of of, of your Twitter account uh, beneath, you know, below. And also, okay. I'm going to try contact uh, the manager of um, Joshua Wahab. You know, he also has connection as well because Joshua Wahab for the Saudi Arabia recently, so he has connection to Lou Dibella. I will try to do that. I, I had his number then. Okay. Yeah, I will get to him so he can. Uh... Yeah, I will need your number so they can get to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because uh, if we're gonna help you, we need to make sure that we have the details so they can call you or get your number. You know, because they can. Nobody. I. He took me some time to reach you because people had to tag you. Oh really? Say, yeah. So I didn't. I searched for on Facebook. I saw many fake accounts on Twitter. Many fake accounts. Instagram take account. I'm like, oh, how can I reach him then? Someone told me, oh, on YouTube. So I had to set, I had to set some, of my, some of guys to write you and uh, see if you respond. You responded and then the message. Email. So yeah, it's not easy to get to you. So that's some, that might be also a problem. Yeah, if yeah. you don't mind me, if you don't mind me adding to that, I think okay. Mr. Ike, you should really leverage social media because you have a huge following you'll be surprised how many fans you have in america you know black american fans that really really want to know your story they want to know what your plans are so you should um 
you know, leverage social media as much as possible, your Twitter, your Instagram. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, oh, thank uh, you. I'm gonna go get. I, I'll get the Instagram. That's the only social media I don't have now. I, you know, of course, I have X, X and I've also have uh, YouTube and uh, and and uh, 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 Facebook. I believe uh, the Instagram was in and out. I'm I'm gonna get the, the Instagram, and uh, I believe that uh, of course, uh, even on the YouTube, I've got about um almost 1.5 subscribers, and I'm. Uh, Hey, and I'm surprised, you know, they, they, there's a lot of uh, people subscribing oh, to the channel. So, uh, yeah. Um, 1.5, uh, that means uh, he has to be monetized now. That, he should be monetized by now, Raymond. Isn't that true? He should, um, a guy should be monetized if he has 1.5. Yeah, of course, but he has to be monetized. You have to have uh, 10,000 uh, watch Viewing time. hours, yeah. Watch time. So if he has that, then, uh, then yeah. Well, he has the, the subscribers now, but he need to have the 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 watch time you know, to get monetized and also maybe an after monetization and address and stuff like that so yeah that will be done so it, it needs to like post more and uh, yeah react yeah. to also react to like call react to uh uh boxing fights you know and call out the winner or the loser so Believe i just me. remember i just remember that i have um I, 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 to, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get IFL TV to interview him. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. I have a connection to the local boxing scene, fly kite promotions, the people that do the. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxing. Those ones are so good, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. So I need his, I need his ex account, Facebook account, and then his contact information. So I and I also have connections to Adeladipo from his days. Um, although he's doing stuff with the zone now, I have connections to him, so I can tag him. And I don't want his story, you know. Yeah, yeah, because 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 I, you keep because the president Aki Abuchi, like he's a legend. Listen, he's a living legend, and it's just funny how we don't remember our legend. This is why sometimes I have issue with Nigeria because we tend to just forget about people that put us on the map. Because I know he wasn't popular in Nigeria like that um, at the, at the time because he was more, he was more popular in America. Um, at, at the time, internet was not a, a huge a big thing then. But I knew about him. I copied his style of fighting, like because I was into boxing. But an average Nigerian don't know who he is, and that's sad. You know, that's sad because we don't value our legend. This is why it's very important, essential that we, uh, we try to connect him to the to the to the to the right uh, people, and uh, also to let Nigerian uh, people know. This is why me having this platform is very important. Remember when I started this stuff? People were saying there was no Nigerian uh, doing this, what I did. People were like saying, why are you doing this? I mean, you know, you, you're not going to get exposure because the UK and Americans are the, the ones who own the biggest channels. I'm like, listen, a Nigerian, I'm a Nigerian, I must strive. If I want, if I put my mind on it, I will strive. I said, I must make sure our fighters, uh, African fighters, Nigerian fighters, at least get some exposure. Well, so far, so good. I've been able to introduce the likes of Ajagba, Apochi, Imanondi said to even do joys to the Nigerian, Nigerian audience because a lot of Nigerians didn't know Joe Joyce had, uh, uh, had the Nigerian heritage. They didn't know his mother's from a word. It was through BBC that they knew. But, so I'm trying my best. Of course, I've not been active, but I'm back. And I want a legend, the president that I've adored, that I admire, that I that I watch his fights every time. At least I watch his old fights, bro. He, I am obsessed with with this legend right here. His style of fighting, the way he carries himself, the way he beats up people in the ring, bro. You you like I, I, you don't understand how I feel right now. I'm emotional right now, bro. So I'm so happy that he's here, and we are all here, and we did it before for our brother Joshua Wahab. We can do it again. Facts. Yeah, big facts. Well said, um, well said. Yeah, man. Like, uh, 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 uh president. Um, right yes. now, right now, I know things are very difficult in Nigeria right now. How are you surviving? I normally wouldn't answer that because uh, let let, let, I, let I, us I'm know. Good. So, if if we can see what can what we can do, you know, I mean, I, I don't mind. I don't mind doing something. I don't mind help. 
you know, because I know Nigeria is, a, is in a big mess right now, and uh, we have a lot of things going on right there. And I don't, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have access to my fund in the United States. I have a lien of seventy million dollars in the United States, but since my removal or transfer to Nigeria, I have not any access whatever to my fund. And being in Nigeria, being in Nigeria is hard, you know, but with everything uh, inflated. So I don't have any access to cash. And that's why I am training to, you know, get back to the boxing so that I can raise some fund before assessing my fund in the United States as remitted by government so it's like you got to use money to to obtain your uh, your property that's the new uh adage now money for your property whether it's money or money but i'm not trying to make money i'm trying to obtain my property in the united states but i don't have access to it without money so i don't have money to assess my property which is money in the united states at this time i'm broke i'm wretched and uh, I need a fight to continue with my um, request for my property in the United States. Okay, uh, I mean, do the, pro the do the Nigerian promoters know know that you're out? Like I know somebody, um, this guy, this uh, is a Lebanese guy, but born in Nigeria, born in Nigeria. Uh, yeah, Sally. Yeah, Sally. So I, he's very huge in Nigerian boxing. He like, I don't know. I still I don't know if I still have his number. I have to message these people. I have to write them because I yeah. think I think the 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 hunger. I can see the hunger in your eyes. I can see you still got it. I can see you still you still want it. Still want that glory, that glory back. You know, um, and um, I I hope you get. I hope you you get it get it back because um, uh, you was a phenom you are a phenomenal fighter. I won't say words because you're not retired yet. You do, are a do you mind if fighter. I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. Ask um, uh, Mr. Ike, sir. I mean, you know, we we, yes. we we follow you just so you know that we follow you and we follow you closely. We've been a big fan of yours for the longest time. We heard some sparring stories recently about two weeks ago that someone got flawed and that was in Abuja. Um, I just wanted to ask how you feel, you know, considering this age, this stage in, in life that you are in and, you know, how you feel getting in that ring and doing what you love doing. I, I loved it. It was the best experience I've had in 25 years. The thing about the sparring in Abuja is that um, I had not, uh, I had no financial support to be there. From where I am, I've got to commute so much to get there, and uh, uh, there were no sparring partners of higher intellect. The, the the kids that were there were just helping me to get. The feeling of the gloves, you know, landing in my on my head and the body. So it's it's, it's a nice feeling. And that's what I wanted, but I wish it could have been a named sparring partner. <clears throat> we 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 sent out um, a, a publication that we want sparring partners, but not really answered. The people we like I said, the kids were you know what they can. Uh, I encourage them you know to throw punches. But, you know, as well, boxing is a thing that cannot be minimized, cannot be micro, uh, micromanaged. If I had if I had access to fund, I would have been there better to do sparring and up, upgrade the sparring standard. I didn't do that. Just uh, and, and also, and maybe someone like uh, VDM, if that guy, I don't know whether I did in the front of boxing. If you talk about this matter, they go, they go... They, to see people they go man we'll try our best so, so continue mm. continue i'm just i'm just writing some people now continue. yeah have you found it yeah. uh, you found the president's um x handle um so we can we can he, um, he, he, needs, he needs to message he needs to email email it to me email it to me. i'm gonna i'm gonna send you this information you wanted you said my phone my telephone number i'm gonna send you my telephone contact number yeah. my uh, uh uh x file x um num uh, address of course yeah. you know you, you know my youtube uh, address so yeah. i'm gonna send those to us after this interview so that you can have uh, a contact of uh, expedition uh whenever anything happens if you want to reach me you can reach me 
um, immediately and uh, without any um, obstructions. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, no, so, so, we can, so we can give uh, give, give any any possible uh, uh, person that wants to you know uh, help and stuff like that. Exactly. Is, I, I don't I, I don't I, I don't really get it how someone would be on at the top without doing anything wrong and still you know come back and all of a sudden the uh, people just turn their back man I, it's so sad but we're here we're here for you sir yes it is so i uh i don't uh, have uh any anything waiting here except that i wanted to fight and uh, i need to train order in boxing not in the weightlifting gym i want to go back in boxing and and the drawing board and uh do my uh drills and get ready for a fight and i don't know why that is a problem but you know i have hope in god and i trust god that god is gonna make a way where there's no way so that's 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 the bottom line here because i'm i'm doing everything i'm i have to do i'm in great spirit uh, and um I, I feel I'm strong, and uh, any doubt should be proven in the ring. Any more doubt should be up the standard in the ring, and that's that's what I'm hoping for. Thanks, sir. Uh, do you guys have any 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 anything uh, anything more to ask uh, the president? No, please just collect any information that you can from him. All his handles. Uh, if you can get a bank account number. I, I'm willing to do something between today and tomorrow for him. I know he's not asking us for anything, but at least we always show our respect to our legend. So I, I want to show my own respect. Uh, so, uh, 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 the president, can you send? Can you have the bank account uh, number to it? Yes, I will. I will. I will. Is All it? Right. Is it? Um. Okay. Um. It, it depends. Uh, the okay. The yes, the I will. The, the Nigerian one. I think you have a Nigerian one, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you have an Nigerian one. Yeah. I would, uh, I would uh, send it to somebody or send it to somebody because right here we cannot transfer money direct now. Somehow there's a new law. I have to send it somebody to send it. I will send somebody to send it. Okay. You know. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, we'll make. We'll try to do our best. You know. Um. Oh. Thank you so much. Uh. I, we. I really do appreciate it for for coming through. I'm. I don't know how. I don't think you understand how it is, how it feels for me now. Uh, I feel um, emotional in a way. I feel I, I, I'm peaced. Um, I'm peaced as well. I'm happy I'm peaced at the same time because I'm peaced that you're in Nigeria and the I'm not saying the government has to do everything, but at least there has to be a Nigerian boxing fan that know you from back in the day. One of those guys there to say, ah! I know this guy. I know I'm old. This ah, the president. You remember? It's funny. Like, <laughs> it doesn't it's just everybody. But, but now you see, when Joshua go to Nigeria, all of them gonna do eye service. They come. Oh, I'm a big bossy fan. They're gonna spray money anyhow. They just a clout. They just, all, all those guys are looking for clout. Then you have somebody a legend. Just start. But we did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, we'll do our best. God bless you and thanks for coming coming to the channel. Thank you. Thank you and God bless. Remain safe, all of you. God bless you and I appreciate your support. Just, wait, wait, wait. Um, that's I what appreciate I you, sir. Next time, we do, yeah, next time, I hope the interview will be better this time. Where we can meet also. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, of course, all of um, uh, Kenichuku is in Nigeria, I think, in, in Lagos. Uh, our okay. brother Ade, Adewale is in Canada. I'm in Amsterdam. Oh, so, so if it, it if it's possible, if you if you ever fight somewhere, even in Saudi Arabia, I, I, because of that, I will fly. I will fly there. Even if even if it's like nearby or anywhere, mm -hmm. I will try to be there to, to support you. You know, to buy yeah. even if, even if I don't go there, I will buy tickets for two three people to support you. You know what I mean? It's very important. Um. I know about the boxing the boxing game is basically popularity contest you know you you, are, you know but it's just it's just sad the way like you let legend like this just i know tokyo Ashik, if we can reach him i know if he want if he watch your fight he will want to see you back i know this because mario's whack you can't tell me what smack is better than uh yeah but he, 
Don't yeah. tell me uh, uh, Aslan Beck, right. Mahmoudov, who hasn't achieved anything, is getting fights up and down. He's better than you. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can, nobody can tell me that. <clears throat> they don't tell me yeah. that. All yeah, those guys, even uh, Derek Chisora, that is like getting, he's, he's, he's getting fights everywhere. I know it's beautiful. Even Hammer. Hammer. Yeah, all these guys are getting fights, and then you like just the one defeated, and nobody wants to claim that. Oh, is it that they see that you are still very? I know, I know that it can happen. It can happen if you related to uh, uh, His Excellency Tokyo. It, it can happen. I just believe that he hasn't been contacted. I think the, the I think the best thing. I think it, it will be in the UK. I think it will be in the twenty first. I have to contact my Ujo to see if he can if he can go there because I think. From there, you can assess on the, or, or on, lot, the, or, on, or, on the 21st? Or, yes, on the 1st of, of September. Okay, September. So, it'll, it'll be better if you go through if you go through Joe Joyce's people because it's going to be a, a Queensberry and this thing and promotion. There's no how that Joe Joyce's people won't be there on the 21st. Yeah, I don't think so, like, just will be there. I have, I have the just number. I have the number. Um, I haven't, we haven't spoken for a long time, baby. So I don't know if I, I write him now. Uh, this guy needs uh, help. But I would... Um, should I write? I will write. I will, I will try writing. I'll just write it to see. You know? <coughs> I, never to, I never talked to him a long time ago. So me not to say, ah, this guy, in the call in the talk to me now because he may want to have somebody. You know how some people they be. Mm. No, but you've never asked anybody for anything, very, very much. You yeah, never asked Yeah, but I know. But I mean, like, it's some people now, they, they feel like uh, if... Why are you why are you writing me now? Because Joe Joyce is just not on top now, you know. He's been beaten <laughs> three times now. He doesn't knock him out twice. And this last one he lost against his right. So you go, yeah, he be now if you just tell him. Maybe maybe he will see that opportunity say he go take the fight. Say he won't fight uh, he won't fight the president, not knowing that he still got it. And then uh, no problem. If he wants fight the president, uh, no Allah. Maybe I have to write him then. Wait. I must write him now then. Yeah, please. I, I get a number. I get a number. <laughs> it does. Oh my God! <laughs> oh boy. Yes, yes. I will, I'm gonna write Martin Bakole's trainer. That one I know will respond because that guy's a good man. He's helped me. He's helped me before. He helped me before with my brother. Uh, uh, wow. You sure have. Uh, I also write to Wahab the uh, manager, uh, uh, Michael Bediakov. Yeah. I will see. Yeah, I will write him. That one, that one also has connection to the UK. They have connection to Lou Dibella. I will just write all these guys to see which one would uh, correspond. You know? Because the, the target now is Tokyo Lashik because he can pull the plug easily. He pulls the plug easily. No promoter will play around and stuff like that. If he wants it, he will, he will have our 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 our, our legend there. And yeah, if if he can, if someone can introduce, I think the easiest person would be Joshua though. But getting to Joshua will be a very difficult guy. I know somebody I can get to his trainer, one of his trainers there. But I don't know if that one. Will no, and something some people they be now. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll try. I'll try my best, sir. You know, we'll try our best. All right. We'll write all these Thank guys. You. And also, I will start talking about you now on my channel as well. And that's why I said you okay. should be, be reacting to any fights that happen. You know, any fight where I happen, don't react to them. I will, call, I will talk about her and say, man, I can't be teaching this guy, this guy, this guy. You know, people will just say, who is this guy? Before you're going to go, you're going to go, you're going to go. I don't, I don't do this to before now, so I don't use them. I don't, I've done this before. I mean, you guys know now. Use other fighters to build, to know other fighters, and then you know all of a sudden people want to fight them. I remember, I remember the uh, the uh, Jagba one. <laughs> bro, that was strategic, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, sir. Thanks so much. All right. Thank, you Thank you very Blast much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hey, Thank you. Bye-bye.